Dear brothers and sisters, regardless of what we may experience in the coming year, there's a source of strength that is often underestimated, our personal prayer. We are absolutely convinced that prayer works. And this is the motto I would like to issue for 2024. Prayer works. As always, our example in this is Jesus Christ. He had intimate conversation with his Father. He prayed for his own. He intercedes for us today. His prayers are effective. This gives us comfort and confidence for the coming year. What are the effects of prayer? Prayer makes us grateful. In fact, praying is giving thanks. It is praise, thanksgiving and worship. But we don't always feel like praising. On the contrary, we often feel more like complaining or grumbling. In such moments, it is important to reflect on what God has done for us. He has strengthened, preserved and blessed us. And this makes us grateful. Prayer makes us compassionate. Our intercessions are inspired by Jesus. In intercession, we move away from ourselves and our own wishes and direct our attention to the needs and requirements of our neighbor. We pray for our neighbors because we care about their well-being. We want to do more than just sympathize or feel pity. Let us rather be active and comfort, strengthen and tell others. Prayer makes us strong. We do not pray just in case, thinking maybe it will work. Our prayer is based on our experience. We know that God helps. Even if his answer sometimes surprises us, our trust in him makes us confident. And it strengthens us to continue on our way. Prayer sanctifies us. When we go to a quiet place to pray, the noise of the world falls silent and our relationship with God becomes the focus. Like Jesus, let us go into the desert or up a mountain. Let us withdraw from outside influences and adopt a different perspective. Doing so helps us to remain serene in these fast-moving times. Prayer unites us. We do not only pray the Lord's Prayer with one another, but also for one another. The whole congregation prays for your daily bread and the forgiveness of your sins. When we pray, we all stand before God together. So much for the effect. But what about our prayer practice? Just a few hints. Let us pray always. We should not only pray to God when things are going particularly well or particularly bad. Let us pray in every situation. Let us pray sincerely. Pray is more than just meditation. It's our personal dialogue with God. We cannot hide anything from Him. He will answer. Let us be sincere and earnest when it comes to our prayers. Let us also pray together. This not applies to the congregation, but also to families and couples. Those who pray together open themselves up to one another, which creates closeness and strengthens the bonds between one another. Let us always ask in the name of Jesus. The Son of God taught us to always pray first for our salvation, because then we can be sure whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Dear brothers and sisters, so let us tap into the power of prayer and realize how great it is. This is our program for 2024. I wish you all a blessed new year.